you welcome to insights with Ojama Yusuf on Kama TV happy new year to every one of you and I'm sure you've been longing to see this face again on your set well I'm back and I'm back in full force yes and what I'll be talking about today is the issue of Naira scarcity and the cashless policy is it working for Nigerians yes are you are you really excited that the economy has doubled to this aspect or you're angry as for me I'm not comfortable with it and the cashless policy is really dealing with me. Naira is scarce. Like if you have Naira now, you are you are just heavy. You are you're on the big side. But don't worry, I won't be doing this alone. I have a guest here with me. She's an economist, she's a banker, and also she's an entrepreneur. So she'll be here with me and then we'll be doing this together. We'll, we'll just dish it together. She has more knowledge than I do on the finance. So don't worry, you see her shortly on the set. Just sit back and watch. Thank you so much. Alright people, you're welcome back from the short break and I have my guest here with me, yes, and I'm so excited she made it to the studio. I have with me here uh, um, Miss Rachel Adiems, the, the CEO head to toe. So ma'am, I'm happy to have you here today. Thank you very much for such a rare privilege and to be here. I'm very grateful. beautiful. I'm yeah. trying to be like you. So, <laughs> like the name of your business. business. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank yeah. you. So thank you for coming, ma'am. Yes, um, ma you know, this issue of cashless policy in Nigeria has become something disturbing that we need to talk about, right? Yes. And um, I know to an, to, an, to an extent, it affects so many persons. Yes. It affects the, uh, the poor, the masses, the business people also, and all of that. So, um, firstly, I would like us to talk a little about it. Um, do you think Nigeria is ready? Like, do you think we are really prepared for this cashless policy? To an extent, we are not. Okay, why? Number one, the literacy of the people involved. Mm. A good number of the masses are still not literate enough okay even the literate ones the ones that are educated mm. are not ready for this kind of technology okay then secondly our networks mm. not just the banks alone but you know the mm. banks depend on mtn mm. and the likes yeah and if you check ne network coverage if you are traveling from here to Jalingo mm. intermittently in, in different locations you see that yes. there's no network mm. sure. so we have to have adequate network coverage in mm. the whole of nigeria we have to have the trade people that understand very well very how well. to use technology. Mm. And then thirdly, you know, we're always having the smart ones amongst us, especially the fraudulent ones. So mm. we are not ready to an extent for the cashless society. Mm. And now this is really causing us issues and problems daily. Like, okay, um, before I could travel down, you know, you know, I've been on break for a while. Before I could travel down here, my goodness, to get a TP to travel was something very difficult. Yeah, we have to queue in the bank for like five, six hours. Mm -hmm. And getting that uh, access to even go to, uh, to even get to the counter to withdraw money, right? Um, my own bank was like, you're giving to 2 kill. <laughs> and I was like, my goodness, 2 k will not be enough for me to survive. How do I do? They have to requeue like you queue you go back and queue and all of that so it was not funny at all getting this from the markets is also like that you cannot meet a woman selling tomato now and, and, and then you not tell her madam i want to buy tomato for 500 naira and then i will transfer to you she'll be like for what i bet i don't believe that transfer oh. if you can't transfer now when you now leave and, and all of that it will bounce back and every other thing and it has become issues so um i don't know if you have something to say about it like the, in your own aspect as a business woman right how do you cope with it? Um, basically, my business is about 13 years old now. Great. And um, over the years, yeah. I've, you know, a cashless policy started like about 10 years ago. No, okay. 10, 12, 13 years in the period of um, Sanusi. And it had to die down because Nigeria was not ready then. Mm. But from then, I had already started with that cashless. Not because the cashless was in place, but most of my business was online. Mm. I sell things online. Mm. I buy things online. Mm. I trade with business people online. So everything had to do with transfers online. Mm. So I had I have already adapted and became part of the cashless oh, before wow. it came. Mm. So most of my customers are the literate class and the ones that are too busy to go to the bank, too busy mm. to come to the shop. Mm. So most of them just do their transfers. Yeah. I, I see the money. 
and I dispatch to their houses or mm. to their offices. So it's basically not a meet me and meet you kind of business. business okay. Mm. Um, all right, people. Um, I think at this junction right now, we'll just go on a short break. And then as we come back, we'll continue. So don't, don't just move. You have many information to just get from her. So just sit back and then continue watching. Don't forget, this is Insight with Ojomo Yusuf on Kama TV. So. Adama State, the land of beauty, the melting pot of diversity, where courage, beauty, handwork, and a unique heritage thrive. Here comes a new leadership with a mission. Senator Aisha Tudaihiro Ahmed, popularly known as Binani, the People's Senator, is set to bring a new leash of life to the state. Track record 82 boreholes and transformers provided. 500 grounding machines and 6,000 fertilizers distributed. Over 70 Adama women and youth trained and employed with industrial sewing machines and farming equipment. Distributions of 698 machinery comprising rice milling machines, water pump, sprayers, and tricycles. Over 133,000 branded exercise books distributed to various schools. The list is endless. This is the new face of governance in Adamawa State. A versatile engineer, entrepreneur, and senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Senator Binani is set to put Adamawa State on a path on unparalleled social economic development. Come and sign this social contract with our Binani. With your vote. Vote Senator Aisha Tidahira Ahmad as your governor. Vote development. Vote peace. Vote progress. Welcome back from the short break and um, we are back again and we are discussing the cashless policy in Nigeria and I've been here with Miss Rachel, the CEO, head to toes and from head to toe, she is actually looking beautiful. <laughs> so, um, like, I'm glad to have you again. Yes. Welcome back from yes. the short break we just had and from, from little while we'll be discussing on this cashless policy issues. And you've been dishing us with some vital information that I know is useful to the um, people at large. So, ma'am, um, being a CEO for a while, man, and you've been used to the cashless policy. Now, uh, I want to maybe put your shoes a little in the aspect of the people that are just um, maybe, okay, the ordinary man outside there, the ordinary man that sells tomatoes and all of that. Um, what do you think you can, what's your advice to them? For now, because now that you've, you've already attained this understanding, you know that it's possible for us to go cashless, even if you are not that ready yet. Yes. What's your call to the ordinary person selling? Um, the ordinary person selling um, tomatoes and the, the lower card as in those that are not really, really literate. Yes. Yeah. I suggest number one, open an account. Okay. Number two, deviate towards having um account that works for you, like your alert mm. system should be effective. Mm. Have a relationship with your customer um, account officer in case your your you, you get a transfer and the money did not uh, reflect in your account. Mm. You can be able to reach out to your account officer to check your account if the money actually dropped there. Mm. Then your major uh, um, purchases should be online. Mm. Since we are deviating towards the $20,000 per day withdrawal and $20,000 um, 500,000 per week would draw by the CBA. Mm. So I advise you open an account. If possible, get a POS, either a merchant POS, which is mo much important. Mm. So for those that have um, um, ATM cards can actually withdraw. Mm. You just pay yeah. for your services online. Yeah. I think what Nigeria is looking towards is to be like the foreign, the mm. foreign countries. Yeah, everything is with cards, everything with um, transfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to debate towards that since that's where we are, we are, we are, we are aiming at. All right. Yeah. When you say we should deviate towards that fully, there's also an issue. There's a challenge in, in that aspect. Because I've been, for an instance, right, I've been in um, in someone's shop and somebody just packed his car and says, this, I want to, um, I want to withdraw money from your POS. And then, okay, yeah. And then he collected the money and then he transferred, so, sorry, so they transfer. He transferred to the person and the person left for like 15, how many minutes? That POS guy said he didn't see that movie anymore. 
So there's an issue with that. I don't know. Yes. I, I learned, sorry for cutting you. Yes. I learned of an app mm, okay. that, that you could actually impute account number amount okay and the owner of the account to see a lot an additional balance to what he has in the account okay. but the money is bogus hmm. that's why when you asked me initially i said what are the limitations i said hmm. the fraudulent ones the smart hmm. ones amongst us hmm. so it's important like some banks have a way of checking this kind of things i know of first bank and i know of gta and which other bank you can actually do a mini statement okay. each transaction you are not sure of Mm. what I do in my own instance is when you make a transfer to me mm. and I didn't get an alert mm. it, if it's a, between two different banks it takes a little bit longer than same bank to same bank okay. so if it's my first bank I do uh, uh, a mini statement, a USSD mini statement it shows me my last four transactions Okay. even when the alert did not come in it shows mm. on the statements. Okay. And that's why I advise that you have a relationship with your, okay. your customer um, account officer so mm. that if it's something that it's so pressing and the person has to leave your shop, mm. you have to call your account officer, please check my account, the mm. money enter, mm. because the alert might come later in the day. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there are three things involved. Maybe a fraudster, mm. maybe uh, the money takes time because yes. it's two different banks, mm. yeah. and maybe it's later in the day. Okay. So that can actually be managed. Yes, can be managed to an extent. Okay. Um, we're we'll still going on a short break right now. So don't forget, I have with me here the CEO, <laughs> Head to <laughs> Toes. <laughs> yeah. So um, we are coming back shortly. Thank you now. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. And if you're giving you the last like, this is the bottom part. So sit back and just get to learn yes you have to learn right now because even me said what she'll be telling us right now i want to also learn so mom yes hmm, <laughs> this issue eh, of of this transfer and all of that and by the time i transfer to a customer the customer will say i've not seen your last and all of that i i tried doing that even in the market at at, um, at, at maraba and i paid somebody and the person said i've not seen a lot and there was no way i could take that goose and all of that so I don't really know, ma. Um, and and then at the end of the day, we say it's some kind of banks. Maybe is my network. I'm using Union Bank for instance, ma'am. Is my network is, is Union Bank that's causing the issue, or is Fed Bank causing the issue? And all of that. So we don't really know. Can you really tell us with your with your little knowledge how do we handle this issue? Um, the thing I want Nigerians to know is that mm. every every bank depends on the network provider airtel mtn glue and the likes mm. and the airtel glue and the likes have a bandwidth which they work with okay. the why we initially mm. i said the cashless will work when we have enough network mm. meaning yeah. that if the banks cannot get network from their network provider how will the the transfers work mm. if you notice most of the transfers work in the middle of the night because less crowd is using those network Okay. to make transactions so you can be able to make your transfers easily mm. the problem is not with the app the problem is not with the banks mm. the problem is not even with the network providers but mm. it's with the government trying it to makes. increase the bandwidth mm. of our networks in nigeria if mm. the networks improve definitely transfers will improve and people mm. will be able to get their alerts on time okay and, yes. the, and, and the arguments yeah, and the arguments will cease <laughs> so we have to work on network providers and increase their bandwidth for them in Nigeria. Okay. And uh, lastly, um, your words to um, Nigerians. Yeah, I, I want to bring this up now. It's not okay. part of it, but then this uh, election, because we just have a few weeks to the election, a few days to the election, a few weeks. So your words to Nigerians out there. My words to Nigerians, especially the youth, is that keep hope alive. Mm. A man that is hopeless is already dead mm. while he's alive. Once you have hope, everything will fall in place. Mm. And we are always survivors. If you check from the days of our parents, yeah. there, there are so many issues that came, many things that looked like it will, it will kill Nigerians or it will kill Nigeria as a whole. Mm. But we survived. Yeah. In fact, what Nigerians have survived over the years, another country will not survive it. Mm, sure, so just sure. keep hope alive mm. and let's all pray. Mm. Let's all pray for the betterment of the country. Mm. We have no other country. We have no other home. Even if we run to other countries, this we are going to house. be visitors there. This yeah. is our home. Yeah. We have to fix it mm. because I believe in a better Nigeria. Mm. I believe we, we we have the 
the wherewithal, the mm. human resources, the, the natural resources, yeah. the financial resources. Our brains are stronger. Up and check now, all the mm. best, best people in the world. Yes, in Nigeria, in Nigeria. Nigeria. So we have the wherewithal to make this country better than we think. Mm. It's not by fighting and, and um, propaganda and news. Let's do our little parts. Mm. Do your own, I do my yeah, own, and Nigeria really becomes Nigeria. better. Wow. <laughs> All right, people, we've had a lot and enough from the CEO head to toes this morning. And, and I'm glad, Ma, that you made it to the studio. Your words of encouragement, everything, your knowledge is wild. Like you're well packaged, and I appreciate you greatly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for making it to the show today. Thank you for well, people, this is how we just wrap it up today on Insight. Don't forget, vote with your conscience as the election is coming forth. All right, people, this is where we'll draw the curtains today and this is how we'll end up the show. So this is um, CEO Head to Toes and I'm glad she made it here today to the studio. So together we are saying bye-bye.